Hi, I'm Liam, and I'm part of the Gigabyte marketing team for Enterprise Products. And today we are extending our coverage of our HPC products to showcase Intel-based servers. And we'll see an upcoming Gigabyte server for the NVIDIA HGX A100 for GPU system, and look at our current Gigabyte server offerings also for HPC and AI. In order to have a server for our diverse audience, Gigabyte has over 30 servers and server motherboards specifically for third-gen Intel Xeon scalable processors. For HPC, we have two lines of servers. On the far right, the G-Series for GPU-centric workloads. And in the G-Series, we have an NVIDIA HGX A100 8 GPU server and just about to be released, the 4 GPU version as well, supporting SXM4 modules. Moving to a preference for high CPU compute, on the bottom left is our H series for high density applications, with up to eight CPUs in a 2U server. Now, let's jump to the technology in third gen Intel Xeon scalable processors. In April of this year, Intel's lineup of CPUs for single and dual socket solutions for the third gen came out and this came after the four socket release last year. These single and dual socket options have added some great shifts that I want to discuss in terms of HPC and AI. Here we are looking at some key benefits with the third gen. Starting with improved PCIe bandwidth, we have added PCI Gen 4 support and up to 128 PCIe lanes in a dual socket configuration. As you can imagine, that will help move the quantity of data generated and do so much faster than the prior gen. Next, performance was boosted with the 10 nanometer technology that has greater performance per watt, and the CPUs boast increases in IPC performance for HPC. And to make CPU to CPU communication faster, now there are six UPI links, and they also help to improve scalability. Moving to more memory bandwidth improvements, now A-channel memory and new memory prefetch techniques and optimizations. Fourth up is support for Optane PMEM 200 series to help data intensive applications. And paired with DDR4, servers support up to six terabytes of memory in a dual socket server. Next, security has improved for data privacy and protection. Last, AI acceleration is improved with DL Boost technology that delivers 1.5 times more performance than prior gen and is geared for inference workloads. Next up, we'll move to servers that are designed for HPC workloads using the new Intel processors. And we will start with a short video of our G262 IR0 that is tailored for the NVIDIA HGX A100 for GPU system. And I'll follow it up with some more further discussion on it, as well as some other important servers that you'll want to consider. From this video, you can get a feel for the design that allows for the best of the best. The G262 IR0 is specifically for this NVIDIA HGX A100 for GPU solution. It of course supports dual Intel Xeon processors and does so with an excellent CPU to GPU balance. And with the new 8-channel memory, there are 8 DIMMs per socket. And the pride and joy is the 4 GPU solution by NVIDIA. And as you can see in the video, there is a chamber specifically for cooling the A100s. It really is outstanding the performance from a 2U server. Besides the obvious A100 accelerators, there are PCIe lanes for storage, networking, or inference cards. And at the front, you can see four two and a half inch storage bays that support PCIe 4.0 for NVMe drives, or you could use SATA or SAS drives. Shockingly, there is still room for many expansion slots in OCP2. On the front side are some of them, and on the rear are four Gen 4x16 low profile expansion slots that support RDMA for fast data transfers and low latency networking. So customers have the flexibility to choose their preferred NIC card and ample choices of where to put it. As for availability, it will be available by the end of the year. Next up, we will look at our available 8 GPU server. Now we are moving on to the most powerful solution with the NVIDIA HGX A100 8 GPUs. 
called the G492ID0. It uses a 4U chassis to allow for a more robust design and one that is needed for peak performance out of all the components, especially the GPUs and CPUs. The bottom chamber is slightly pulled out in the right picture and it houses the A100s that you can see in gold. And that's why we chose five powerful 80 millimeter fans at the front of the server to get more than enough air to and through the GPU chamber. And at the back are an additional six 80 millimeter fans. So cooling isn't an issue here. And the top spec Xeon CPUs like the 8380 can be used without throttling. For storage, at the front are six bays for Gen 4 NVMe or SATA drives. Last, we have eight Gen 4 by 16 low profile slots for networking or storage found on the bottom rear of the server. Overall, our customers have been extremely impressed with this server. Now let's slide over to a server that supports dual slot PCIe cards. Here we have the G292-280 that supports eight GPUs all in Gen 4 by 16 slots and does so in a 2U chassis with an optimal balance of one CPU to four GPUs. So the AMD Instinct MI100 or NVIDIA A100 are top tier accelerator choices for this system. And they will run at their peak performance in HPC simulations, AI training and analytics applications. And for this design, the two chambers in the sides are to channel air to the GPUs only, leaving the middle section for a separate cooling solution for storage, CPUs, and memory. And although the server has dual 10 gigabit Ethernet LAN ports, there are also two low profile slots located on the rear. Next up, we have another 2U server, and although it may look like a common rack server, but it is much more. It is a high density H262 NO0 server with four nodes that support eight Xeons in a 2U chassis and does so with a wealth of DIMMs, eight per socket for a total of 64 DIMMs. And since the focus is on CPU performance and storage, there are 24 Gen 4 green bays at the front for U.2, SATA, or SAS drives. Last, there is support for low profile slots as well but they are more likely used for networking, such as NVIDIA Connect X6 for 200 gigabits per second of ethernet connectivity. So the focus of this server is CPU compute and performance. Our last server today is the first of the third gen Xeon scalable servers to come out. And it can really scale up nodes as it is a CPU and memory density king. It uses the Intel four socket platform that supports third gen Cooper Lake processors and can do so with all CPUs connected with six UPI links per CPU. Also for AI training, the third gen platform supports AVX 512 Bfloat 16 instructions. And at the front of the server are 10 two and a half inch bays for U.2, SATA or SAS drives. And directly in the rear is support for four full height, full length accelerators. Now that we've departed the servers, I also want to share a quick reminder. Gigabyte regularly works with software partners to validate systems like the ones we saw today. If customers approach us about getting Gigabyte servers validated by one of the partners, such as SUSE, Red Hat, or VMware, we can submit the servers for customers as we have a process and connection in place. And before leaving, I will share a local success story. NTNU is a famous university in Taiwan, and it has a very favorable reputation and is known for fields such as education, linguistics, and information management systems. NTNU came to Gigabyte in need of our expertise and ability to deliver a system that checks all their boxes, and specifically for cloud computing. For the research, they requested a cloud computing solution so resources could be better shared among faculty. And for the big data processing, Gigabyte selected the H270, H70 for the CPU node, the G190, H44 for the GPU node, and the R180, F28 for SSD storage. All said and done, the solution allows researchers and professors to be impressed with performance from cloud computing. 
time to close this out, and I hope I made you more familiar with our Intel-based server product offerings. Looking for future generations, we will continue our tight partnership with our technology partners to deliver fast time-to-market servers with the latest and greatest. We invite you to join Gigabyte at our various platforms to learn about our enterprise products. For further questions, you can email us directly at server.grp at gigabyte.com or visit our enterprise page at gigabyte.com enterprise. I'm Liam. Thank you for your time today.